And the next Monday we were playing in a field and the kid said to me, say, what's that bird? What's the name? Do you know the name of that bird? I says, I'm the slightest idea. He said, well, it's a brown-throated thrush. He says, your father doesn't teach you anything. But my father had already taught me about the names of birds. He once we walked and he says, that's a brown-throated thrush. He says, know what the name of that bird is? A brown-throated thrush. In German, it's called a Fliegenflegel. In Chinese, it's called a Qing Long Tong. In Japanese, a Tohara Tohara. And so on. And it, when you know all the names in every language of that bird, you know nothing, but absolutely nothing about the bird. And then we would go on and talk about the pecking and the feathers. So I had learned already that names don't constitute knowledge. It's the knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzcronin experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long-lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh, yes, now I know. But I never know the names of things.